So that was the corruption of the capacity for thought or the, or the intellect, right? If we move on to the second capacity, we have the capacity for urge, the capacity for desire. We want things. You get hungry, right? Uh, you get aroused. It's true, right? So that's something that Allah created in you, okay? This is a capacity. It's not evil. It's not dirty. It is what it is. And Arawi Asfahani is saying, if you don't actively develop that and train that and discipline that, into a virtue, then it's going to fall into one or two of two extremes and it's going to end up being a vice. Okay, so if you take that desire, for example, and it goes to one extreme, one extreme is gluttony, right? It's never enough, whether it's food, whether it's intimacy, all these sorts of things. Somebody can get to the point where they're just constantly searching out the next thing, right? We see this when it comes to some of the people in our community or in society that are addicted to pornography or they have um, unhealthy eating habits and it's just about more more, 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 right? This is gluttony. This is something that's crossed the limits, out of bounds. They've neglected this sort of capacity and it's fallen into an extreme and it's a vice. The other extreme is kind of like being numb to it, right? Um, it's almost like, again, like it's atrophied. Like it's not doing anything. Like sometimes uh, people don't care. They don't, they don't have any sort of uh, urge at all. They've lost the capacity. Sometimes they've actually consumed so much that they've become numb to it. Right. And we see this more when it comes to intimacy than we see it with food. But the point stands where somebody it's like nothing even does it for them anymore. Right. This is mismanaged. This is it's become to the point of a vice. The person has to take these things and train them and develop them so that they actually work for the person, their own self-development, their own development of virtue and their own success in the afterlife. If they don't, if you leave it untouched, then it's going to, with the help of the devil, with the help of bad habits, with the help of bad decisions, it's going to end up falling into one of these two extremes, and that's when it becomes a vice.